The endocannabinoid system plays a significant part in balancing our body's most significant functions from rest to mood to appetite to bowel movements and more. The endocannabinoid system was discovered in the 1990s when researchers were investigating plant-like atoms. They found cannabinoids that were delivered by the human body. The endocannabinoid's principal job is to maintain bodily homeostasis and natural amiability in light of ecological changes. For example, physical and mental stress. Science has discovered that the endocannabinoid system is present in anything with vertebrae. For example, mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish. At first, research indicated endocannabinoid receptors were just present in the mind and nerves, but they have since been found all through the whole body, including our skin. Today, we know that the endocannabinoid framework is engaged with various processes, including pain, memory, state of mind, hunger, stress, rest, digestion, immune system, and our conceptive functions. Endocannabinoids are arguably one of the most vast and versatile atoms. The endocannabinoid system is anything but a basic framework. It's complex and when in balance offers well-being and joy. Let's take a look into how CBD interacts with our body. Specialists from the University of California, San Diego and Johns Hopkins University examined the pursuit recurrence of non-intoxicating CBD. The 2019 investigation demonstrated that search rates developed from 126% from 2016 to 2017, 160% the following year and 118% the year after that. All this interest merits understanding the mechanisms behind the compound and its effects. With millions of monthly searches, this shouldn't be a surprise. This intrigue justifies understanding the systems behind the compound and its effects. CBD is just shortening for cannabinoid and is found in the cannabis plant. There are 113 known cannabinoids, each assuming a part in the endocannabinoid framework. THC and CBN are two other notable sorts. It's a non-psychoactive compound, which implies that individuals don't feel the high associated with using it. Advocates claim to adore the compound for its wide scope of health advantages. While the Food and Drug Administration does not regulate the purity or safety of the substance, CBD is considered safe and labelled as a food supplement in the UK. The most proficient way to create CBD is through carbon dioxide extraction. This costly technique utilises carbon dioxide to isolate the oil from the plant matter. The blend of a highly pressurised environment and low temperatures maximises the amount of CBD that is extracted during the process. As for other methods, extraction uses the entirety of the cannabis plant. Manufacturers can separate the compound from the stem, tail, leaves and blossom of the hemp plant. The subsequent compound is the thing that proceeds to impact the endocannabinoid framework with a bunch of advantages. So, what is the endocannabinoid system? The endocannabinoid system is a complex natural framework in the human body. Clinical specialists found it during the 1990s. Yet, back then, things were obscure about how it functioned and how it communicated. Today, specialists realise that it impacts a few significant processes, including appetite, sleep, mood and memory. Yet, there is substantially more to be found. The endocannabinoid system has three parts, receptors, enzymes and endocannabinoids. These parts work whether somebody utilises CBD or not. Receptors exist all throughout the body and are of substance to which endocannabinoids bond. Enzymes show up in numerous structures, however, just two kinds of catalysts separate the endocannabinoids and the endocannabinoids supplement the body by keeping the inner capacities running easily. Understanding the impacts of CBD includes looking at the connection between the receptors and the endocannabinoids. There are two kinds of receptors, CB1 and CB2. CB1 receptors are basically in the central nervous system and are liable for overseeing coordination, development, pain, hunger, memory, mindset and different capacities. The CB2 receptors are in the peripheral nervous system, influencing pain and inflammation. After the enzymes break down the cannabinoids, the endocannabinoids look to bind with the receptors. Researchers believe that CBD does not directly attach itself to the receptor, but influences it in some way. Activating these receptors is what allows for the many health claim benefits that people associate with the compound. CBD can also impact non-cannabinoid receptors. According to Tierra Roland of Lotus Health, CBD modulates the fifth serotonin receptor which can treat psychotic disorders. It can also affect the TRPV1 receptor, which is responsible for pain and inflammation. Research suggests that the non-psychoactive properties of CBD could make it ideal for therapeutic use. For instance, one study connects CBD with a reduction in heart conditions, such as heart strokes and heart attacks. Another short-term study found that a dose of the compound reduced the appetite of patients. There's also been multiple researchers that have shown a link between CBD and treatment for PTSD symptoms like negative memories, anxiety and nightmares. CBD plays a significant role when alleviating pain as well. At the point where the CBD impacts the TRPV1, it begins obstructing pain signals from arriving at the remainder of the body. 
This provides comfort from acne, swelling and discomfort. While the central government characterizes it in a similar classification as cannabis, CBD has become a basic aspect of the marijuana community. One of the critical turning points for CBD was the legal legalization. The UK says that products with over 0.2% THC are not allowed. On the off chance that the plant is over that limit, the UK takes the product down from the stores. Because the FDA classes CBD as a food supplement, prices and dosages can vary widely between products, so you should always be aware of this when purchasing one. To conclude, CBD is one of the numerous cannabinoids found in the cannabis plant. The compound has a wider range of potential benefits, but keep in mind the CBD industry has far outpaced scientific research when it comes to claims regarding health benefits. Understanding what CBD does in the body is the essential step to dependable use, and although there are unknowns, there is also a lot of new information coming out too. Research on the potential health benefits of CBD oil is ongoing, so new therapeutic uses will be discovered. Though there is much to be learned about efficiency and safety of CBD, results from recent studies suggest that CBD may provide a safe, powerful natural treatment for many health issues. For any questions or concerns about CBD working for you, be sure to check in with your doctor. Well everyone, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're looking for CBD oil, broad spectrum like this, on our website we sell CBD balm, oil and capsules. Expect more videos to come talking about CBD oil, how you should take it and much more. To stay up to date, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We'll see you next time.